Hi Hi fans, Randy Ingersoll here with another Play Hive Like a Champion video. This is a game played at Board Game Arena. I'm playing white in a game of standard Hive with a relative newcomer, Lady B92. Initially I wanted to use this game as an example of why one should not start with a spider. As I reviewed the game I came to realize there's much more to it than just the maxim, don't start with a spider. So let's get the game underway. With no ladybug in play, I almost always start with a grasshopper to set up a good defender. Black opens with a spider. And it's interesting to note that black does not have to play the queen on turn two. Typically, there's no danger in waiting until turn three. Rarely, however, should you wait until turn four, particularly if you're playing black. Black chooses a Z opening. And I went through a period in my early hive career where I really, really did not like the idea of a black spider attacking my queen early. I would do everything I could to stop that from happening. Now I've come to realize that it's not necessarily a bad thing. By playing my second ant here, when the spider attacks, the first ant moves, and the second ant keeps the black spider pinned. The black grasshopper forces the spawning of a second defender. In this case, I choose a grasshopper. The black grasshopper immediately pins the newly placed white grasshopper. But as Joe Schultz in his book, The Canon of Hive Groundwork, he calls it a false pin. As we shall see later, when this kill spot is filled here, the defending white grasshopper is freed. Another instructional point here, this kill space is currently protected by the gate here. The tempo gained is used to bring in white ant number three, which promptly does what ants do best, pin other ants. And when the second black ant comes in, a white ant pins it as well. Here is a concept that's important for beginning hive players to understand. Surrounding your opponent's queen is not the goal in hive. That's just how you win. I gladly release the attack to pin the ant. Note how the placement of this pin restricts black spawn points. Black only has six. Three on the black queen here, one defensive spot here, one on this ant, and this one on the spider, which black uses. And now white is dominating the ant game. The ant game is another term coined in Joe Schultz's book. It's controlling the outside of the hive, initially with ants. Note how many spawn points white has. Three on each of the ants, and this one here, which is very important. And it's used to bring in a spider. At this point, a beginner may think that black is winning. Four kill spots on the white queen are filled but only two on the black queen. But that is only an appearance. White has two excellent defenders here and here, and as we mentioned earlier, is controlling the ant game. Looking at the reserve, black only has three bugs left, and when one of the defenders jumps out, black has three spots to fill. All white must do is stop one bug. With three mobile ants and four bugs in reserve, this will not be a problem. When the black beetle spawns, a white beetle spawns in a defensive position as well. And here is a big mistake. By immediately attacking, the black beetle frees the defending white grasshopper, which performs a pin replacement here, freeing the white ant. Again, not attacking, but controlling. At this point, notice how the initial black spider is blocked and immobile. If this were a grasshopper, it could immediately switch from defense to attack, but the spider is stuck. Getting easily blocked by the freedom to move rule is the primary reason that starting with a spider is bad. When the white beetle climbs atop the black queen, two spaces are open for direct drops, here and here. 
and essentially the game is over. Note that the white queen could escape, but there is no need. The white attack continues to its climax. Another instructive game for beginners. I hope that you enjoyed it, and remember the two hive maxims from this game. Don't start with a spider, and surrounding your opponent's queen is not the goal in hive. That's just how you win. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, this is Randy Ingersoll signing off.